Y'all boys been asking me this for a long time. Since the game came out on next gen, y'all like, bro, what is your score machine bill? Like, bro, how do I make that bill? And today's y'all day. I got you, my guy. But what's good, y'all? Make sure y'all drop a like on this video. Subscribe. It's your man Shimon. I'm back with another video. And we're back on next gen. As a lot of you guys always ask me in the comment section, how do you make your score machine bill? Especially when y'all guys seen clips like this on TikTok or on Twitter. Getting snatch blocks, taking down a court, going crazy, do a few dribble moves, hit him with a behind the back, spin the lay to the hole. That's a contact dunk. Stuff like that. I can understand why you guys want this bill. So today I will teach you how to make this build my way and I'm going to teach you the better way to make this build. As it's taken a few times, I was getting a little information from some pro-am players to see what you need to get a good amount of steals and what badges you need to be able to get interceptor. But for my build, I have no steal, I have no close shot, and I have low strength on this build. But look, with this badge count of 12, 21, 21, and 19, it's crazy. Like when I say I have two of the same builds, just one with shorter arm span, like using the power forward position on this game, is like a must. If you use the power forward on this game, it's like you're not trying to set yourself up to be at a disadvantage. I'm just gonna let y'all boys know that now. If you wanna use the power forward, it's just for you not to get put at a disadvantage because you get more badge points, you get more attributes, especially at a small four. Small four get more attributes than a point guard or shooting guard. But when we start out making this build, this build is a six seven, lowest weight, 6 11 wingspan you can go 6 10 if you know you're not going to keep 99 if you know you can keep that 98 overall i'll do 6 10 wingspan but if you know you can get 99 and keep it do the 6 11 wingspan it's going to look a little different but how i built this i maxed out the driving dunk the driving layup the standing dunk and i went up 32 post control to get 12 finishing badges with this 12 finishing badges is perfect that's three hall of fame badges or you can do four gold badges but with this lineup that you have with the 12 finishing badges it's just great enough to get to the hole you can do nine if you really want to nine is just perfect enough but with the shooting maxing out shooting for the mid range and three pointer remember what i told you guys if you can't keep that 99 overall to keep your deep range or deep threes on this game i would just hit 99 put the badge on if you lose 99 you will still be able to have your deep threes as long as you put it on you will keep it but check this out as we get to playmaking and stuff like that, we're maxing out ball control. We got an 84 ball control and speed with ball. And then we're going to end up making our pass accuracy 73. If you want to add pull it passer, you can do that. You can lower maybe your, your ball control to 82 or something like that. But I'm going to keep my ball control where it is. But for defensive, defensive, we have no steal. We got a little interior defense, max perimeter defense. And then we got the block offensive and defensive rebound all the way max. And when it comes to our attributes, we max out speed, acceleration. We touch the strength just a little to get it somewhat to the 50. And we got an 80 vertical with a max 99 stamina. When you look at this build, you're like, okay, this build is a great offensive build and defensive build at the same time. But it can't get steals. It can, but if you want to get lane steals with this build, I'm going to let you know. You're not going to get that many lane steals with a 25 steal. Since you don't have interceptor, or you don't end up getting the animation most of the time if you're not in the right spot, you're gonna be put in bad situations when you're supposed to got the steal, but since you don't have the attributes, you won't get them. But if you wanna end up making this build to be able to get interceptor and pickpocket at the same time, you're gonna have to sacrifice certain things. So with me doing this, I sacrificed a little on my dunk, a little on my layup, and most things I sacrificed was my strength, and I changed the stamina I had, and I literally lowered my perimeter defense and my block to get steel to 69. So if you guys want to end up having a 69 steel to get pickpocket on goal and interceptor on goal, I would go with that. Especially if you're playing prone with this build, this might be the best power four build in the game. Like literally with the steel, with all the attributes, you got 55, 50 something interior defense. So you're not going to get dunked on as much as somebody having 25. We tested that. Having a 25 interior defense versus a 50 versus a 99, it makes a big difference on this game. It's very hard to dunk on somebody. But as we get the name score machine, this is what you guys wanted. My 6-7 power four score machine. I'm gonna show you how to set the badges up. As of me having 10 finishing badges, I'm gonna only look at Heat Seeker, Slizzery Finisher, and Posterizer. We can do Heat Seeker on Hall of Fame if you want to, but we gotta automatically have our Posterizer on Hall of Fame. But we can do Gold Slithery and Gold Heat Seeker. That'd be great enough to get buckets, dunk on people, 
it'd be very consistent, especially with your driving tendencies you're gonna have with being a 6.7 power four, you're gonna have like a 97, maybe 95 driving dunk tendency on this build. But when it comes to the shooting badges, you're gonna go with the blinders on Hall of Fame, deep threes on Hall of Fame. Once you unlock it, hot zone hunter, hot shot, plus clutch shooter on silver. If you don't run clutch shooter on silver, I'm telling you guys, you are missing out. Clutch shooter on silver is perfect. It literally kicks in when you need it. But if you're the main ball handler and you're ISOing, I would use Green Machine, especially if you shoot a lot. But if you're also somebody that likes doing standing shots, that's perfect with this build. You can also switch that back over to stop and pop. But for all the playmaking badges, ankle breakers is a must. It's, you, like, come on, bro. Ankle breaker is a must. You can do dimer if you want to, but it's not needed on this game unless you have somebody on your team with a low three-pointer. But unpluckable on Hall of Fame. You don't need it on Hall of Fame, but I do go. Quick first step, handles for days on Hall of Fame. And if you guys really want to end up messing around with some badges, I try to test out tight handles if you really know how to use the park handles moves. I would mess with that, even if you're a prone player. With tight handles, you're going to be breaking ankles. But since we do not, we do not have 19 defensive badges and we now have two extra badge categories of interceptor and pickpocket. Now, I don't have box on this build. Because when I showed you, I had box on this build but now I sacrificed that to get chase down on silver, interceptor on gold, pickpocket on gold. With these six defensive badges, you can't go wrong. But if you guys wanna see my IRL build on NBA 2K21 next gen or current gen, let's get this video to 150 likes. 150 likes, I will make my IRL build on NBA 2K21. But I have a feeling it's gonna be very difficult trying to make a 6-6 build, especially a point guard build on current gen to be able to shoot, dribble, and dunk, and play decent defense. I already got a feeling that it's gonna be a build like that that's gonna be hard to make and be able to score consistently on, but that's what we're gonna have fun with, bro. That's the reason why we do it. But as you see with my 6-7, even though we gave up the ball and I missed that shot, I got the ball right back because the defensive stats on this build, oh my God, it's just crazy. And then especially ISO on, on this build, it just, it makes it very easy, very fluent. But as my man was in game chat talking real crazy, he was talking so crazy. I had to turn up on him. As we get team takeover, I had to tee up on this man. Put him on the ground. Where you going, my guy? Fade. Y'all know I don't like fading on this game. Y'all know I'm not a fading type of person. I'd rather just do the quick little stand still jump shot and knock it down. But this man is getting put on the ground. That's a great thing. Come on, man. Come on, you can't be talking junk in game chat like that, bro. You can't be talking junk like in game chat, especially how your defense is. He just spamming. You just out here spamming. Like, come on, I tell y'all boys, shoot the ball, shoot the ball. Don't just always rim run. Because that's what take the fun out of using this build. You can shoot, dribble, dunk. You can do it all. Don't just always take it to the hole every time. I can understand based on somebody playing you, but this man was just talking crazy. When he was in game chat, I was like, hey, bro. Like, bro, I was just feeling like he really think he is he's doing something. Like, he really think he's good. But that's another green. That's another one. That's another one. He was like, bro, you only going to the hole. You only going to the hole. So I had to show him my three-point range. I had to show him I could really shoot the ball. But I realized this man was one of those. He was one of those. He was one of those that literally hit square and run around playing defense. He didn't hold no L2. He literally runs around on defense spamming square. So I had to get him out of here. I had to get him out of here. I had to give him a quick little 21 piece, you know what I'm saying? I had to get this man out of here because all he was wanting to do is hit square. Once he fell on his head two times, he knew. He knew it was over. But as we get into the next gameplay, y'all got to see double takeover with this build. As I pick sharp takeover spot up and ankle breaking shots as my secondary, it's a reason why I use this. Always use ankle breaking shots as your secondary. I'm going to tell you this now, especially if you're an ISO player, ankle breaker with ankle breaking shots secondary, bro. I don't even have to activate my secondary takeover to get ankle breaker animations to make people fall. I can activate my sharp takeover and make people fall just with ankle breaker on goal because somewhat on 2K21 next gen, it activates that I'm somewhat dribbling with ankle breaker shots, even though it's not activated, but oh my God. But in this game, like you must see a lot of rim running. I'm gonna let you know. I'm just gonna show you that this build can go to the hole and play defense. As you seen last game, I showed you how this build can shoot. But now we just really want to work on a, this actually take it to the whole part. As you see, I'm getting contact dunks as this build has a 98 driving dunk tendency. A 98 driving dunk tendency. So you're going to dunk the ball most of the time based on if the person in the paint has high interior defense. But man, this guy who was guarding me, bro, he was not using his L2. He just running back and forth. I felt bad for this dude. I really felt bad, but hey. You gotta play some defense. Like, I just hit him with a jab step behind the back, easy dunk. Like, come on, bro. It's not that hard. 
it's not that hard. I know defense on this game is kind of iffy, but bro, you gotta play defense. But I had to tee up on this man. I gotta show him the combos. Like, bro, you know I'm gonna guard me. I'm gonna have to really do you in. This man was literally turning around, getting cooked. Oh my god, easy lay, easy lay. So now we have that sharp takeover. Even though I have sharp takeover, he must think I'm about to shoot. So he's gonna press the three point line. So I'm gonna end up taking these easy twos. He's pressing me on the three. So I'm gonna end up making this man think I'm about to take the three and take the easy dunk. But oh my God, this man is literally lost. Break his ankles, easy spin dunk to the whole world. You going? Where are you going? But if you guys wanna end up making my 6-7 build, bro, I'ma tell you this now. Make the 6-7 with the steal. I'ma tell you, it's gonna change the game. You make the 6-7 with the steal, it's gonna change the game. But oh my, just imagine if I would've finished that. If I would've finished that, hey, 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 hey that, that was gonna be on TikTok. But if you guys haven't followed me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok at YT. Also, subscribe, like, turn on post notifications once you sub. It's been your man, Shamama, and I'm out, y'all.